Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply the ESP function in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example relies on the data that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines you will see that at the top right of R Studio two new vector objects appear. And we can plot these data with the plot function, as you can see here in line six of the code. So this is a basic R plot as it is plotted by the default options of the plot function. And as you can see, the aspect ratio of this plot is so that all points of the plot are shown. However, sometimes you may want to change the aspect ratio. And this can be done with the S option, as you can see in line 8 of the code. So in this line, um, we are specifying exactly the same input for the plot function. But in addition to that, we are setting our S ratio to be equal to 10. So if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom right in our studio, the same plot as before is shown, but this time the aspect ratio was changed according to the value that we have specified here. So this is basically how to set an aspect ratio in a plot in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on aspect ratios in plots in the R programming language. And in this tutorial, I'm giving more examples for the application of the ESP argument in R. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.